your eyes. And seeing if you can allow those muscles to relax. Just releasing the tension with each out breath. Now to the muscles of the face, the cheeks, the jaw, That's another place that we hold a lot of tension. Seeing if you can just allow the hinge of the jaw to loosen. sensations in these parts of the body. No need to worry about if they're pleasant or unpleasant. Just notice it. Now feeling the sense of relaxation washing into your shoulders, arms and hands. Becoming aware of any sensations in the hands. Might feel light or tingly, warm or cool. Whatever feels right for you right now. Just scanning the rest of the body. The chest, the belly, the legs, and the feet. And allowing that sense of relaxation to wash over you. Turning to the breath, feeling each in breath and out breath, and repeating a word to yourself silently on the out breath. It can be the number one, it can be a word of peace. Um, pick a word that is meaningful for you. The thoughts will come and go. They're natural. They're normal. Just notice get a hop and a stream of association. And gently bring your attention back to your breath and your chosen word. You can follow the next couple breaths. And then 
as we bring this relaxation to an end, with eyes still closed, beginning to picture the room around you. And imagine bringing a sense of relaxation with you throughout the rest of the day. And when you feel ready, opening your eyes, coming back to the room. So that's the, the general introductory technique that we might show. Uh, generally ask people about their experience, any questions that they would have, but in the interest of time, we'll keep moving and save questions that they have. If you were the uh, object that had about an hour to do I think it would just be up and down. I'm sorry, no. This one, 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 uh, and sort of the general types, and then talk one <coughs> through two of uh, our recent studies and an ongoing study that we have. So our, our research can be split up into sort of different <coughs> types. There are some research which is being done on our clinical groups. Either um, we'll have clinical data from the past, like our Lighten Up, our weight loss program group. We'll have um, the weights of participants, and we're currently engaging in a study sort of um, analyzing the data of uh, people's weight change throughout the group. And then some will be those looking at the clinical groups, but um, planned out beforehand, so giving questionnaires at the beginning and end of the groups, and uh, collecting physiological data. So these ones usually include all the things that I mentioned before in uh, the clinical groups. The research groups have uh, more variation. Some of them are <coughs> pilot studies, some are randomized control studies, some are group format, some are individual format, and some teach a mix of techniques like, like is done in our clinical groups, and some are focusing more on a specific technique such as kundalini yoga or uh, single point meditation. So the first study I want to talk about, this is a symptom reduction study. It was in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine uh, <coughs> came out about six months ago. And it was looking at symptom reduction from our clinical groups. So this was um, our, it was a 12 week program at that point, uh, two and a half hours a week. And it was 331 patients who participated in our clinical groups between 2003 and 2006. The measures, we use the medical symptom checklist, the health promoting lifestyle profile, and the symptom checklist, the SCL90. And what we found was that, um, this, these are all after Bonferroni correction, uh, which is to correct for multiple comparisons when you're doing a lots of different tests. And we found that in, I don't know if you can read this, but this is the SCL90, and for the SCL99 subscales were significant. Uh, everything except for phobic activity. And in the, um, the, the other tests, we had, you know, all the subscales were significant for the health promoting lifestyle profile. People were, you know, had greater physical activity, greater nutrition, these types of things after the groups. 